much too. Let's rewind real quick, uh, get back on the topic of uh, Dallas. Um, you had a show the night of the shootings? I definitely had the, 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 the night <clears throat> or the little twilight area of time that the uh, Dallas police assassinations went down. I was like right north of downtown Dallas. Walk yeah. us through that night from your perspective. I mean, as a young person of color in this country, the first five, six days of this month, if you weren't frustrated or if you didn't feel anything, the disconnect you have is pretty scary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know white friends of mine that had fear more than a lot of people that just wasn't letting it sink in. Like, yo, we've been desensitized to shit that we're not supposed to be desensitized to. Motherfuckers burn LA up over a nigga getting his ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody even that pissed over people just getting shot. Like, the, <clears throat> the Alton Sterling one is what really, really, really hurt my heart because when, you, when they got into like the full details of the story, the person that was the 911 call was about wasn't even him. It was someone else. You know what I'm saying? Like he carried, a, he carried like it's, uh, Lisa, we, Lisa, in Louisiana, you can carry a gun in your pocket. Like it shit ain't shit. And to be selling CDs outside of a spot that that's where you worked at and everybody knew that's what you did. And then two cops that, you know what I'm saying? I don't have hate for anything, period. But I do believe there's a lot of police that are undertrained or overtrained. Like there's no middle ground. There's no de-escalation. Like when they have uh, hostage negotiators, you don't let no motherfucker that just came back from the army be a hostage negotiator. You don't just let that happen. You know what I'm saying? So there's just a lot of directives that are off. But when I seen that shit and you see it on camera, it wasn't the police killing that bothered me as much as the justification of it throughout the media. Like, nah, bro. Nah, shut that fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, your life matters, for sure, but you're not blue, bro. When you go home, you wear a fucking white tee or, or, or a shirt or some running shoes. Like, you're not blue. Like, I can't never not be black, bro. Ever. No matter how I can act like Carlton right now, I can never not be black. I'm black as fuck. You get what I'm saying? So, for anybody to say all lives, blue lives, like, you're a dick. Straight the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I'll call a spade a spade. Like, nigga, black lives need to matter. They shouldn't, it shouldn't even be here. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't be here. It shouldn't be like, yo, black lives matter. We shouldn't even, like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, if the fact that there's a group of people that say that and you want to demonize them means like, bro, you're a demon. Straight the fuck up. The fact that there's opposition to that movement whatsoever, like, it's a negative thing. No, listen. The, <clears throat> and it's not color. It's classism. The privileged don't ever want to be the assholes. That's the one thing they don't ever want to be. The one thing I ever learned about, you know, people with power and people with a lot of money and opulence, call them uncool. Watch them give no fuck about how much money they got. They'll blow all their money to prove to you that they're cool still. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool is currency. And that's where, you, like, you hurt their feelings. Oh, well, now we're racists? Yeah, bitch, you're a racist. Straight up. If you don't like it, then stop saying racist shit. Done deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there are people that probably have changed. Like, when I watch OJ Ma Made in America, did I feel like that dude Mark Furman maybe have learned from his shit? Can you learn from your shit? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah. Like, I'm not gonna hold that shit to you. There's some people that said some shit in 95. I said some shit in 95, motherfucker, that I will probably not say right now or feel right now. But my thing about all of those events was, it was just too back to back to back to back to back for there to be anything less than remorse. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna shoot a dude and kill him with his kid in the backseat? Like, the first thing they should teach, like, like, okay, I, you know, the, cops aren't trained to see shit like that and be rational. That's the one thing I can't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, if. All these ex-military people, like, you come back from Iraq and now you're a cop, bro, like, it's on site. That's just what it is. You know, you're giving cops military equipment. What is that going to trigger in your brain? You know, I'm watching Viceland, watching all these um, 
ex-military or, or former military like go through just trying to smoke weed to solve their PS PTSD. So imagine the ones that don't, that are like maybe Bible-based and weed is never going to be anything. You're just fucking going through it and now you got another uniform on. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and I can, I, you know, I'm from Detroit and Chicago, bro. Like I was raised in Detroit and grew up in Chicago. Like I know that cops really got it. You know what I'm saying? Like it really could get kind of scary out here, but you chose to do that shit. You wanted to be a cop. Don't let your father or your grandfather or the legacy of your family put you in a position where you know you're just not cut for that shit. Like, do I know some cops right now that are probably gangster and some most gangsters? Yeah, they were ex-gangsters turned cops. You know what I'm saying? Those people can police other people. They've been there. You know what I'm saying? There should just be like a situation where it's vetted. But what pissed me off was the next day, like out of nowhere, there's just one guy named Micah X. Johnson that has one fucking fist picture up, says Black Lives Matter under his shit, and that's the dude that killed cops. Like, come on, bro. Like, even if that, like, even it's just the story, the narrative of it was fucked up. Like, do I feel really shitty that that's what happened? Hell yeah, man. Like, people dying is fucking not tight at all. Like, at all. Like, nobody, it, it should never, ever be that way. Like, if we didn't have guns, motherfuckers would just have to catch the fade, which will smarten your ass up real quick. Have you ever been punched in the mouth? That will fucking change your whole perspective on life, bro. Like, as soon as somebody tighten your face up, everything you were saying prior to that is no longer what you're going to say first. Not getting beat to death. Not getting your ass whooped with a camera on you, because that's, that's another side we can get into. Like, that's why people are so fucking turnt right now, because you know you can't get in a fight. Because if you lose, that shit going on world star, dog. I was trying to figure out, like, what is it like for high school people right now in the world? Like, if you get in a fight in a bathroom, motherfucker can have that shit on Periscope, bro. You ain't going to never live that down. Now you got to shoot the school up. Like, just message out there. If you see a fight, put your phone away. You don't never know what they're trying to solve. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't tell you that if I was in school, bro, and somebody caught me with a good one, and that shit was all on the internet when I got home, I wouldn't be Chuck English right now. I would be a whole nother motherfucker, bro. Like, I would be, I would hate the world. You think it's getting better or getting worse? It can only get better. But it's like, it takes people saying things. Like, don't be distant. Don't be, like, separate of the collective human fucking experience here. Because no matter where you go, you still got to live in this motherfucker. Even if you got a rich ass house somewhere else, you fucking up the environment is going to still make a heat wave and kill all your plants. Like if you don't understand that we live here together, like we do, no matter what the fuck color you look like. We're in this bitch. We got to breathe the same oxygen and drink the same water or we'll die. So if you're not trying to help the next man like, yo, bro, you probably need some clean water out this bitch. Like I'm from Michigan, bro. Like, do you know how fucked up it is to know like two hours north, not even two hours north of me where... A lot of my dad's friends were some of the best basketball players from the state, from, from where MC Breed is from, like a legendary fucking city, is drinking shit water. Still, too. No People shit. still showering with... Uh, Dude, water we got water. five bodies of water surrounding the state. Like, what the fuck? Like, we have two coasts on a state. We have, like, oh, bodies of water that you can see from space. Like, why are... The, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is no one else like, hey, you know what? What the fuck? Like, they're drinking shit water. That shit is unacceptable. Nah, bro. People actually just will blame the people for their situation. Like, how?